First question is from jmax5862. Can I use dumbbells for squats, lunges, chest press, overhead press, and deadlifts? Does it have to be a barbell or am I just wasting my time? Justin, you were the one that uh, went and did all the mods that we had. What programs, I know it's uh, most of them, but not all of them. What programs do we have now that we've- Yeah, we went through and, and we tried to cover basically all the main programs. So the only ones we left out were PED because it's so machine-based. Uh, like, I mean, there's just so many exercises in that program that you, uh, I mean, you're, you're not going to really have the experience you want unless you're in a gym setting. And yeah. so the the other one was strong, which, you know, we were kind of going back and forth with that, but there were so many unique lifts to that program that we kind of wanted to keep it as was, but uh, everything else, I mean, split, uh, aesthetic, uh, performance, anabolic, anabolic mm -hmm. you know, all the main hitters, like we went through and, and replaced them with options for dumbbells. Yeah, right. Most exercises that you do with barbells, you could do with dumbbells and you really won't lose uh, effectiveness. Now, some exercises are a little harder to replace, like a barbell squat is a bit difficult to replace with dumbbells, but there are many, many exercises you can do and replace of a barbell squat to give you uh, similar results. All and, the split stance exercises. And the main the main reason why it's hard is just the loading purpose, That's right? It. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you not, get the dumbbells on your back? Right, because so if you're somebody who only squats though, uh, let's say 95 or 100 pounds on a barbell, uh, holding for two forty five pound then dumbbells, it's almost uh, equivalent. Though. Yeah, is is pretty close. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's somebody who can load a barbell up to you know one eighty five, two hundred pounds. Like good luck holding seventy five hundred pound dumbbells in each arm while you're trying right. to squat. So that's where I think it. But if you're in that range, uh, absolutely. And here's a deal too. Uh, for the time being, it's an incredible switch out. I mean, yeah. if if yep. where where we're all at, like yeah, perfect world. I've got a barbell too, but. Man, I, I've wrote many, many programs for clients that don't have access to a barbell and only have dumbbells at home, and it's it's totally fine. Well, I'll tell you, as a trainer, if I if you had to limit my equipment for clients and you said you can have dumbbells or a barbell, but you can't have both, and then you can have your adjustable bench, what would you choose? To train clients, I would choose dumbbells. Mm -hmm. they're, more they're, more versatile. Yeah. they're more versatile. And Way more. And ranges of motion can be modified a little bit better, and I can do certain things with dumbbells I can't do with barbells. Barbells are great when you're really strong. Like when mm -hmm. you're really strong, you could load the hell out of it. You could, you could deadlift a lot, squat a lot with it. Um, but dumbbells are uh, are phenomenal. They're still free weights. Yeah. Um, they're actually more free than barbells are because well, they're unilateral. Well, yeah, exactly. And unilateral, like that, I was going to mention, like if you instead of the intensity being just like adding more load, and you know, obviously barbell is the best for that in terms of like stacking a lot of load uh, in certain moves. Uh, you know, unilateral would be the way I would kind of intensify certain exercises to make them more for challenging. Sure. But you get so many different benefits from that. Like you get so much more stability in the joints and then that all then carries over back into your bi-loaded situation where now I can you know squat on my back and I feel way more supported. Well I was, I was making the case that somebody who can do 200 pound squat it'd be really hard to emulate that with a pair of dumbbells and do a, 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 a bilateral squat both feet on the ground but it Take that same person and hold fifty pound dumbbells and do a Bulgarian squat. Right, that'll that'll crush somebody who squats two hundred pounds all day long. So you could still accomplish a phenomenal workout, or do a single leg deadlift holding dumbbells. Yeah, yeah if you no. want to deadlift, right. you know, a lot of weight, and and watch what happens to your 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 bilateral deadlift, um, just from getting good at the single leg one. I mean, there were there were I haven't done this for a long time. But I used to go through cycles of just dumbbell training yeah. where I would eliminate barbells completely, do everything with dumbbells, and I would always get um, some good results from doing that. Yeah, it's much more holistic. Like, you know, if I, I can I can improve any of the other like underlying weaknesses, that's going to help you with your longevity in this training uh, game.